This video is about our TW445, our 4 post lift, a brief explanation of the name. TW445 means 4 post lift with a lifting capacity of 4.5 tons. This lift has a maximum lifting height of 1.85 meters. It is actually ideal for wheel alignment at an inspection center for example, or as a headlight adjustment place because it can be leveled and more. The lift is equipped with these sliding plates as standard. And here at the front we have insert plates that I can remove if necessary in order to insert the turn plates, which I need for wheel alignment for example. We also offer wheel aligners, which means that the whole set could be acquired together. The turn plates are also included with the wheel aligner. On the other hand, here's our motor. This lift has a 400 volt motor. And, here's our relatively simple control unit. That means I have a normal power switch, an emergency stop, an up button and a down button. There's also a small safety button on the side. It's for the so-called slack cable protection, which is a system that uses a limit switch to control whether the steel cables are taut. If that's not the case, if the lift gets into an inclined position because something like a tool trolley was left under it, for example, then the limit switch is triggered and the lift stops. So it ensures that the lift cannot tilt. If that were the case, I would have to push this button on the side while lifting up until the cables are taut again. After that I can't move the lift up and down normally with the up and down buttons. The lift is equipped with a manual safety release. That means, if I want to lower the lift, I push down this lever here first, and then I can lower the lift with the down button. The lift is equipped with these access ramps as standard. And there are roll-off protection plates at the front. Both the roll-off protection plates and the access ramps have the big advantage or rather the task of creating a small angle so that, as expected, the car can't roll down from the lift. This ramps can be bought separately as an option if, for example, I want to use the lift as a drive through So I can drive through my lift if I don't have too much space in my workshop. That means I have access ramps at the front and back so that I can drive on the lift from here or the front. They can be easily exchanged for the completely normal roll-off protection which we have as standard. There are optional platform extensions for this lift, both for the front and the back, in case I have longer vehicles that I want to lift up with the lift. Now we are under the lift. As you can see, there are these small tracks here on which our optional axle jack can be mounted, as we have done here. The axle jack has these small wheels, which grip on the tracks here, so that the axle jack can be easily moved even though it's very heavy. That means I can slide the axle jack back and forth very easily. Of course, the axle jack is there to lift the vehicle axially. That means, when I'm aligning wheels, for example, and I want to put the turn plates under the wheels, I can lift up the vehicle a bit. I can slide my turn plates underneath and then I can lower the vehicle again. Of course I can also use it to change the tires from my car. It is not only for wheel alignment, but also for simply lifting my car from the front or rear depending on my needs. The axle jack has a lifting capacity of 2.5 tons, so it's actually designed for most vehicles. I hope I could help you a bit further with this video. You now have the option of choosing a suitable lift below if you have already decided on a specific model. Among other things, you'll find individual product videos and assembly videos for each lift. If you still have any questions or doubts, then you can always give us a call. Either I or one of my colleagues will help you further with any specific questions. Otherwise, thanks for watching.